Hello and welcome to another episode of The Naked Turner. Today I'm going to be taking this piece of sapel or sapile and um, turning it into a small spatula for uh, vegetables and eggs and whatever you know other kind of stuff you might want to have a flat sort of uh, um, Asian style spatula. So I'm going to go about making this today. I've done some layout here on it which hopefully you can see. Uh, you'll get a little better view of that. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to use my new 4 inch uh, easy wood chuck in order to chuck this up. I've got some lines drawn on here. This first set I realized was a little bit too close to the end because of the way I'm going to chuck this up. So now I'm going to come in here and use my bandsaw to cut some of these uh, lines. And you can see this piece of wood has some really nice grain in it so it should be kind of fun. All right, I've got my bandsaw tensioned up, and powering on. Coming in right there. And this is just a 45 degree line. Take that over to the lathe. So here we are at this chuck. I'm going to take and line this up as best I can, kind of center it right there. And then snap in on that. Right about, right about there. Okay. Now I've got it loosely clamped. Then I'm going to bring my tailstock in and let me widen out a little bit so you can see this. Okay, so now I'll be bringing my tailstock up and centering it in both directions. Approximately centered, that looks pretty good. Locking off and Pinching not too tight, just tight enough. All right, and then I'll come back in and tighten up a little bit more down here. There we go. Now bring in my uh, banjo and my tool rest over here and pretty much right up to there. Okay, and then I'll do a little bit of turning in that zone. Right there. Roughing gouge to start out with. And I'll do that right here just to put a little bit of a round on this. Don't forget, safety. Coming down a hair here. There we go. bringing up the speed.
Okay, we're just about rounded there. A little bit of a flat spot right here. Okay, there we go. Got one little, still tiny flat spot. I didn't have it perfectly centered here. sanding on this zone. Alright, I'm doing a little bit of sanding. Now I'm going to take my V grooving tool and make a few decorative details that will also serve as a little friction point at the end of the spindle and a little more sanding and now i'll apply some uh, howard's butcher block conditioner which is oil and wax and uh, that is now ready for a little bit more shaping coming in with my roughing gouge and shaping the outer edge of the spatula just to refine uh, the edge of the spatula here. Now I'm using a detail spindle gouge to do the final little bit of refining on that. All right, so I'm using my 5 8 bowl gouge and refining the outer edge. Then I'll be coming in here with my detail spindle gouge and just refining it a little bit more one last pass and a little bit of sanding using a foam backing pad so that I don't injure myself and just being careful to not get thwacked by the outer edges of the spatula. All right, I have this get, getting ready to be done. I'm just sanding and applying a little finish to the end and now I'll pull my tail stock off and this piece is ready to take to the bandsaw. Okay, so now I'm here at my bandsaw and I'm just trimming off these two little cheeks here, like so. And that looks real good. And I'm gonna make a mark here on the end. And actually, it might be nice if this was at a little bit of an angle. Out like that. I'm just thinking that way it'll be easier to get in. And... Is that true? Yeah, it is. I'm going to come in at a little bit of an angle here. Turn that bottom edge off. And there we go. stationary sander and first thing I'm going to do is sand this edge flat all right so I have a fence this fence here that I have clamped on and it's at a little bit of an angle running through the blade so slice that off. Now you can see I've made a wedge there. Now I'm going to come in from this side and I'm going to take the little piece that I cut off 
I'm going to put it back on here like this. Then I'm going to reposition my fence until I'm just touching that edge. and push that through. So now, you can see I've got a nice taper going on here. I'll just take it over to my belt sander and refine that surface. So now I'm going to go back and resurface that. Nice. Give this a real quick rock sand here. hand sanding on that and then some finish and I've got a nice little spatula. Okay, now I've got it really nicely sanded and I'm just going to put a slightly flatter spot here on the bottom. It's right down to a knife edge now so I don't really want that. There we go. Okay. Something like that. Sweet. Okay. I'll put a little bit of finish on that and then that's done. Okay, so here it is. The uh, finished spatula came out really sweet. It's just an oil finish. And uh, I'm going to go take it into the kitchen. It'll get used right away. Thanks for watching another episode of The Naked Turner.